God. It's here. Let's bring this in. So it's currently 9.45 in the morning, if I'm not mistaken, and my Amazon Fresh order came at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> So, um, I have to put that away. Um, let me show you guys what I got really quickly. I go peppers and onions, bagels, yeast, pineapple, some organic baby spinach, cilantro, blueberries, each and avocado, Dang. white onion, green peppers, sweet potato. Blech. The organic thigh, mozzarella cheese, extra firm tofu, two unsweetened almond milks, two unsweetened vanilla almond milk, heavy whipping cream, two light sour creams, and then one more cilantro. Whew. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a, a video that I've had in my mind for a while. I just never knew what YouTuber to do, but now that I've been watching her for a while, I feel like I relate to her in a lot of ways and she now lives in New York City. So today I'm gonna be eating, for the next two days, I'm gonna be eating like your mom, Ashley. This title is definitely gonna say eating like your mom, Ashley for a day, but it's gonna be two days. So a few things to note, um, Ashley is vegan. I'm vegetarian, so a lot of the diet that I'm eating is pretty similar to what I already eat. Not necessarily the nail on the head, but it, it, it's close enough. I will say a few things. I, I really went to this video and try to pick recipes that I feel like I really would eat, but I wanna be upfront that there's some things in recipes that I'm gonna change slightly to make it edible for me. Cause I don't want this video to be a challenge. I want it to be more of a experience of new food because I tend to eat the very similar or the same thing and everything that I chose or at least most things that I chose are just things that I don't necessarily always eat. I've seen it a lot. I've seen almost all of Ashley's what I eat in a day. I'm referring to this one. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out and I also link the recipes I guess for everything down below as well. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to bring you guys along the way. It is currently 10 18 a.m. So uh, yeah, let's 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 get eating soon. Um, I'm gonna really gonna try to eat three meals a day, and a snack. Oof. Let's see if I can do that. Then for lunch, I air fried some pizza. It looks really dry, but it tasted good. Is that one fourth? Yeah. Ooh. -hoo. So we're gonna make some toast. I'm gonna put the recipe that she makes right here, bam. For class, I'm just making some banana toast. So I like to put the peanut butter on top so I can taste it more. And then hemp seed, cinnamon, and then strawberry preserves right on top. Three. I don't normally eat sweet foods. I tend to eat more savory foods. I'm just a savory food type of person. Let's try it. I mean, I've had peanut butter and banana sandwiches before, so this is not gonna be anything new. Delicious, actually. Well, I've had that in a while. Movie magic, y'all. That pizza clip was probably no more than a minute of editing. 
The clip was almost 35 minutes long. Anyways, now we're gonna try the apricot and butter. I am a PB and J kind of person. This is interesting. Mmm. That's actually really good. I definitely prefer the peanut butter and banana. So I'm gonna rate the peanut butter and banana 8 out of 10. The reason it's not like a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10, one is because I don't eat Skippy's peanut butter anymore. I tend to eat organic, but just like peanut butter that's just made from peanuts. Like Skippy has a whole bunch of other oils and stuff. So it just tastes a little artificial. And also the banana is a little bit cold. <laughs> so it's like weird with the toast, but it's really, really good. The apricot one, I mean, honestly, I'll give it like a seven, like a seven. I really, really like it. I'm just, it's really sweet and I'm just not a sweet person. So um, yeah, overall, 7.5 out of 10. All right, now I'm gonna eat this and watch some of your mom asked videos like I've been watching them all day. So it's been like three hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, I have slept for three hours. Literally, I think closer to maybe closer to four hours. So I'm so tired. Um, I, I really wanna film this, but I am tired. But uh, I do still have to eat, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm gonna take out the dough. Look how much it's risen. It's kind of insane, actually. Freaks me out a little. I'm, I'm not gonna touch it till I wash my hands, but I'm gonna roll it out. This is gonna be blurred. You're just gonna have to deal with it. This recipe calls for two, so I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot to turn on the mic for this part, so basically what I'm talking about is the fact that I know that this pizza looks burnt, but basically, I grew up eating burnt food, and I prefer to eat my food burnt. Now I'm biting it, yum, nom 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 nom, chewing, 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 I am chewing. And then I give a rating that I think I gave it like a 9 out of 10 and then it's time I'm gonna finish this pizza and go to sleep. Beautiful oatmeal, just oatmeal with berry, soy milk, and peanut butter. And if you just like mix in the soy milk with the berries, beautiful purple color. Okay, so let's try it. The difference between Ashley videos and mine is that she has an aesthetic and I do not. So I, my apologies if these videos are not aesthetic enough for you, but that wasn't the purpose of today's video. We have a blueberry, some peanut butter, oatmeal. It's not bad. I wanna see if I can get it turn purple though. Okay, anyway, so it's good. Two things, not the biggest fan of oatmeal, so kind of counterintuitive, I know, but I just, oatmeal and I, 
Oatmeal is good, but it's definitely not a food that I eat very often. Probably eat oatmeal like three times a year. Um, so it's not bad. I will say I don't really love the blueberries in here. It's not my favorite thing in the world. I don't know if I got a bad batch of blueberries. I don't eat blueberries like straight into my mouth. These are sour. Are blueberries normally sour? Answer down below, please. I don't know. They're pretty sour. Like they taste like lemons. I'm gonna eat as much as I can. It's not bad. I would rate it maybe a 6.5 out of 10. It's not bad. It's, it's edible and I, and I can finish the whole bowl, but I definitely will avoid eating the blueberries as much as possible. I just want to, oh, my camera battery is flashing, so I'm going to talk as fast as possible. I just want to be honest, not about the food. I've really been into your mom, Ashley, lately. She moved to New York recently, and I didn't know her. I, I've seen her videos in my suggested for a few years, but I didn't really watch her. Um, just for no reason, literally no reason. I just didn't click the videos. Um, and it's crazy because I hope the camera the angle didn't change too much. <laughs> my battery just died and I had to change it, but... As I was saying, I just started watching her more recently, like I would say within the last four months or so. The reason I'm, I'm filming a Your Mom Ashley video is because watching her, I relate to her a lot and I think that we have very similar personalities in some ways, like I'm not as quirky and I'm not always as kind, but I think that I have the same optimism that she carries and hopefulness. And um, I don't know, I really like that about her and I just thought like, She's vegan, I'm vegetarian. I don't know, I felt like this video just felt right. Like, I've been thinking about what YouTuber to do this with for a very long time, y'all. Like, this video has been in my thing for like two years, and I know this video is like kind of outdated and people don't really do it anymore, but I, I really like Ashley a lot, and I, I really like her content, and I've just, like, I've been binging it. Like, man, I think I've seen maybe 40, 50 videos of Ashley. Like, I, I really wanted to film this because I'm really loving her content and I think that, you know, and I think that she's just a really good creator and she's like the type of creator that I gravitate towards a lot. So with that being said, actually, if you ever see this, you probably never will. Um, but if you ever do, I just want to say I love you so much and I love the content you create and I think that you're killing it and I really hope you create making continue creating content. Welcome to New York. You've lived in New York all your life, but welcome to New York City, the best. And I hope you make some great memories with Kelly and Anne Marie. Yeah, I ate none of the blueberries. Maybe today I realize I don't like blueberries. This is the worst angle ever, but it's been a few hours. Hopefully, I fixed my mic, so hopefully it works. I got Chipotle. This is the thing, I'm gonna be honest. I don't eat guac, and I don't like black beans. So, I didn't get the burrito exactly like it because I'm vegetarian, not vegan. I did get sour cream and cheese, so I just got my original order, but in a burrito. I've never in my life, ever eaten burrito from Chipotle, ever. I buy a bowl and have a tortilla on the side, so I've made a homemade one, but I've had Chipotle, I would say around maybe three to 4,000 times. It's my favorite food ever. That wasn't an exaggeration, that was a real number. My favorite food ever. If I was rich, I would eat Chipotle every single day. A burrito, I'm gonna take one bite on camera and then I'm gonna watch my show because Chipotle is my favorite food and I really want, I really wanna enjoy it. It's like Chipotle. <laughs> I definitely prefer the bowl though. Nine point nine out of ten. It's delicious. I'm gonna eat now. So I forgot to put my outro. So I just wanted to try one last thing before I close out. So I just got this in the package, so it's perfect timing. They sent me two. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, Ashley tried this tried this in her video, so I want to try it in mine. Whoa! And let's see which flavor I'm gonna go for. All right, I'm gonna go for the salted peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Uh, so let's try it before I close y'all out. Mm. Um, this is really good. It tastes like if you ever had the Nutri-Grain peanut butter bar, it tastes identical. It's really good. I would rate that a 7.5 out of 10. It's really, really good, but it is a bit bitter. It has a bitter aftertaste. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. More videos to come, so subscribe if you like and share. Um, but yeah, stay safe, y'all. There's still a deadly pandemic. 
booster shots coming out soon. Don't be a dick and get your booster. And yeah, uh, see y'all later. See ya.